after I finished my first film, The Act of Killing, I came back and Adi said to me, I need to meet the man who killed my brother and I need to confront them. And I first said, absolutely not. It's too dangerous. There has never before been a film where survivors confront perpetrators while they still hold a monopoly on power. It can't, can't be done. Adi convinced us to try and then we found a way of doing it safely and the, the result is the look of silence. Jadi pada waktu itu waktu syuting itu kami memang pernah mendapat ancaman seperti orang para pelaku itu menelpon polisi kami lari tapi sebelumnya kami juga sudah mengantisipasi misalnya dengan sudah membeli keluarga sudah di bandara dan tiket sudah dipersiapkan If someone is angry while you're filming them and asks you to stop filming, then you have to, of course you want to stop for that person. But in that, these situations, I was also filming with Adi, and I was thinking, what would Adi want me to do? Would he want me to continue filming for another 30 seconds or one minute to document, in a sense, the abyss of fear and guilt that's dividing everybody in this society? Or would he want me to respect the wishes of the perpetrator and stop? In those cases where I continue filming, when I've been asked to stop, it's because I realized that while I could, if I, even though I'm making this perpetrator feel uncomfortable for another 30 seconds or so, uh, to, to stop filming would be to betray Adi, his family, and really the whole human rights community in Indonesia.